Hey, so something um, we were playing with a, a little while ago um, was the idea of using a Notion uh, dictionary, or using Notion to, to keep a dictionary. And I guess it doesn't really matter whether you use Notion as a tool or whether you use some other sort of wiki. But the idea basically was to have some collection, glo globally available collection within a company of terminology that maybe isn't isn't obvious. Now, I, I guess it, it doesn't really make sense to try and include all of your business terminology in there. But but if you think about the the kind of questions that new hires often ask, like, oh, what does that phrase mean? What does that acronym mean? Um, you know, th there's often hundreds of those things, right? Um, I remember when I joined Red Academy in London as an instructor, they did a thing called a 101. And, and I didn't really know what that was for quite a while. <laughs> Um, and there's usually loads of terminology like that. And so the the aim of this dictionary is to provide a central place where that's written down, which, again, will really help if you're working asynchronously with people, because you can kind of just direct them there uh, if somebody mentions a term they don't understand. As with any knowledge based type stuff, it, I guess it's pretty important to try and have this jointly owned and also to have somebody responsible for pruning it uh, and, and trying to keep it neat. Um, so here's an example of uh, of one of these uh, glossary of terms, um, uh, and it's basically just a table uh, in um, in Notion. We've got the actual word, and then we've got whatever it was previously known as, if it's a changing term, and then there's there's a description uh, of of what the term is, um, and then the you know maybe also a good idea to have some way of of uh, of people suggesting new terms if they can't add them directly in here or somewhere to go and discuss these or whatever. So we had a Slack channel for, for that. Um, uh, and the good thing about using Notion for this uh, is that you can go to a different page um, and we can reference these. So if I create a page here, uh, oh, I can't, I'm on the, on the wrong thing. Um, so, um, but if I create another page, I can just type at with an at symbol and then I can, I can start typing one of these phrases and it will automatically link to this definition. Um, and, you know, I guess it doesn't really make sense to do that every time you mention one of these terms, but in certain cases like onboarding for new hires, it's really, really useful to be able to just, while you're writing normal copy and you mention a new term, to be able to just turn it into a link which comes here to the canonical description of, of what that term means. Um, so we didn't get very far with this, as you can see here. We've only got 12 things in here at the moment. Um, <laughs> Uh, and and this company isn't really operating anymore. So um, so I don't know how well this would work at scale, uh, but it's definitely an idea you might consider trying out. Um, I figure this might also work well within teams in larger organizations.